Hi everybody, today we'll be representing numbers by breaking them into other numbers. Now this is something you've been doing for years and years and years. You have a number like this, you break it into a sum of its place values, and then you break it down even more with these products. It looks familiar, right? Say right. Okay. Well today we're just going to change it by a little teeny bit. We're just going to throw in some decimals. Doesn't change anything. We're going to start the same way. We're going to break our number into its place values, so we know that that 2 represents 200, that 4 represents 40, and so on, and the 5 is in the tenths place, so that's 5 tenths. Then we go and look at these as a product of its place values, so the 200 is 2 one hundredths, the 40 is 4 tenths, and the 3 is 3 ones. The 5 in the tenths place is 5 tenths. Now we just write that as a sum. And ta-da, you have your number in expanded notation. Okay, let's try another one of those. Okay, number's a little bigger, no problem. We're just going to start the same way. Let's smash it up. Boom, 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 boom. Thanks, Snampy. Okay, so now we have our place values here. We know that that thousand is just one thousand. The zero we won't worry about. The eight is eight tens. The six is six ones. The zero we don't worry about. The four in the hundredths place is four hundredths, and the five in the thousandths place is five thousandths. Okay, so now we just write this as a sum, and there's your number, all expanded. It's beautiful. Now some of you might also see the decimal portions as fractions. Don't let that throw you off. You know that a hundredth is one hundredth, and that a thousandth is one thousandth. No big deal. Okay, now what if our number is already given to us in this expanded notation? Well, let's change its colors first. I know you like it better that way. Ah, pretty. Okay, now what we could do here is just m multiply it out and add it all up, and that's one thing we could do, but that seems like a lot of math, and I know you guys aren't big on doing a lot of math. So let's just use our place value chart because we're told what the number is. We have a three in the ten thousands. There's nothing in the thousands, so we'll just put a zero there. We have eight one hundred, so an eight in the hundreds place. No tens, so zero goes there. We have a seven for the ones. Don't forget your decimal goes between the ones and the tenths. We have a five in the tenths place. No hundredths, and finally a nine in the thousands place. So there it is. We're done. Pretty amazing. Okay, everybody, it's your turn.